看看新闻网。Welcome to You Are the Chef. I'm Heidi, and we are here today and all this week at the Intercontinental Shanghai Expo. Well, the weather is definitely getting a lot colder, so let's find out what sort of fresh ingredients are in season. Then get our chef to teach us how to use them in some fabulous winter cuisine. But of course, first, let's go see who that chef is. Our chef this week is Sam Kung. Sam has 27 years of kitchen experience in five-star restaurants and was determined to work in the culinary business after his experience in a Thai restaurant when he was younger. Since 2007, he's been an executive chef in charge of a total of 24 restaurants. With rich experience in top international hotels, his expertise lies in not only Western cuisine but a touch of Southeast Asian. The dish today is a scrumptious roast herb crusted Clare Valley Eye Fillet with oxtail hash brown potato. This is such an easy dish, and it's so interesting for you to cook in your kitchen. Just within a few steps, a dish full of amazing flavors mixed with sauces can be served and at your dinner table. What do we need to do first? Well, we first we need to uh, marinate the beef. Okay. Season the beef with salt and pepper. Uh -huh. This is the beef that I need to put in. What It's, sort of beef are we using? Well, we are using Australian Clare Valley. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, Australian has a very good producer of beef, and that gives a bit of a nice beef in there. Yep. So what I'm going to do is season salt and pepper. So what you do is turn it both sides. Okay. Then you marinate that. Okay. Mm -hmm. While marinate that, we need to turn on the pan. Oh, okay. So So we put in our oil then. Yes. So what you say? Same thing again. We always need to wait for that to get seasoned. Smoked. The pan needs to be quite hot. It's already exactly. smoking. Exactly. You can smoke it. Go so for I will it. Yes. So you will just have to put it in. Yeah. So nice. So just leave it for a couple of uh, just one minute on both sides. So okay. It's very brown. Okay. What we're going to do that is the next one is a potato. Potato. Yep. Okay. So this has already oil. been cooked. Actually. Okay. Yes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start to peel off the potato. Okay. So let me just turn we're it the other way around. Oh. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that syrup. Okay, okay. So what we do next is we just peel this peel skin, the skin off. off yes. It. So once you cook the potato, yep. it actually goes very easy to peel it off. Okay. Look. Do you think it's better to be um, boiling the potatoes in the skin or just taking With the skin the off? The skin first? is better. So what we this can do is ready. Be ready. We can just we will take then take this beef here. You can see the sizzle sound. Yes. I just put on the uh, roasting tray. So this will goes into the oven. Whilst he's taking that and putting it in the oven, let's take a commercial break. On the red carpet, unveils the glamorous world of Hollywood celebrities and fashion. The hottest the stars will be bringing the hottest the looks to the red carpet. It offers the latest entertainment news, movie and TV premieres, award shows, and celebrity interviews. Even reading the script for me was difficult. Well, no, I'm just laughing. You know. You understand that it really is such a different movie. Every Sunday at 8:30 p.m. only on ICS. 微姿创新，双眸青春魔法，直至眼睫末梢。全新微姿眼睫十号魔法液，着效抗老及滋养成分，提拉抗皱，淡化黑眼圈，睫毛更显丰盈。全新眼睫十号魔法液，微姿。等会儿，垃圾要分类处理，明白吗？你怎么知道我没有分类呢？可回收的扔这边儿。最顶尖的院校，最权威的教授，最活力的学生。最深入的体验，最有用的信息。每周六晚十八点 ，ICS 海外路路通，敬请期待。
一滴精油，改变你的护肤方式。全新巴黎欧莱雅奢养精华油，凝聚八种珍稀花卉，细滑、清透，以数滴轻柔按摩，或融入保养品中，每寸肌肤焕活光彩。Magic， 巴黎欧莱雅奢养精华油，你值得拥有。莅临欧莱雅体验精油奢宠。Princess Sissy falls in love with Prince Franz. Follow these fantastic 19th-century adventures of Princess Sissy and Fun Magic Club only on ICS. Welcome back to You Are the Chef. Well, all this week we're creating some amazing winter dishes, and today's dish is actually an oven-baked. Herb crust, Clear Valley beef. Now we put that in the oven. We're on to the next step. Well, the next step, what we need to do now is um, obviously you peel up the potato. Yep. Right? You like to try to grate it? Sure. Right. I'm happy Let's with that. To, yep. To grate it. While you're grating that, I get some uh, chopped parsley here. Okay. Okay. So this is the parsley. When you start to grate, I'll start to chop. Okay. Okay. So wow, it's really just falling apart. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. That's what we. That's what we want. Okay. So, so what we do now is uh, to okay. put on this. Uh, Chopped parsley in that, that will give a bit of a color. Yeah. And then next one is I add a little bit of a hint of thyme in there. You don't want to be too much, but this one be careful. We just don't want the uh, stalks to go yes, in there. Yes, yes. So what you do is just add a bit of a thyme. Do you want me to mix this up with the yes, spoon? Yes, please. And okay. uh, now what we need to do is we need to season. Obviously, everything is yep. uh, seasoning is very important for any cooking. So make sure that we season the dish well. Okay, great. We have that uh, a bit of a salt in there. Yeah, nice. Now, this is an uh, oxtail, the braised oxtail. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to chop it out a little bit. So if you can see, this is all the yeah. oxtail pieces. It's very interesting. I mean, uh, for hash, normally I just think of just the potato, but you're adding the beef well, into uh, it, the meat into it. Uh, Great how idea. You create on the dish. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this into okay. Horse. Got two now this horse. is going to give a lot of flavour to this. Yep. And, so uh, take them out. Got to yep. remove that out. So what okay. you do next is you put this inside. Look at that. You, what you do next is uh, you mix all well until that is combined. Okay. Obviously, we need to do is to roll it up. Okay. To uh, pieces. You want to try that? Yep. You, yep. So what you do is uh, you roll it up. Okay. So that's how we're going to start to roll it. Not too big, not too small. Okay. And this is just a nice, perfect bite size. So this will be your starch of your dish for the beef. This will need to go into the deep fryer. Okay. We will need to deep fry. Okay. We obviously have that uh, hash brown sort of shape. Yeah. Shape on that. Okay, great. So I will start to get this deep fried. Uh, okay. While waiting for that, I'll get the beef out from the oven. came out from the beef, okay. you can smell that. Right? And, the, so and look at the juice, it's like it's a gravy, like the juices have yeah, come out of it, it is. beautiful. So what we need to do next now is... Is our mustard? Important. Yes, it's mustard. Yay. Can I have the mustard? What sort of mustard is this? We just use a Dijon mustard. Dijon. Yeah. Okay. So you put it after it's been baked, so yes. it's really going to absorb, yes. the gonna absorb the flavor. It's going to absorb the flavor. I have the herb crust butter. Yeah. Yes, I'm cutting this into a dish, so this will be on top. Yeah. Uh, this is the look ox, at that. This is the nice oxtail hash brown, which you have made. Yay. Yeah. So this will be over here. So while we're waiting, well, should we start we're waiting for that, Now we start to do the sauces and the vegetable. Heat up the pot. Okay. And, and a, then bit of, a little bit of olive oil. And uh, we have the uh, vegetable here now. We have a bit of a pre-cooked, so it makes it a bit easier at home for yep. you all to enjoy. It is. It's much easier to just blanch them first to then cook exactly. them, isn't it? So depending on the liking, uh, a portion size will be four asparagus will be a good uh, size. Okay. Uh, some couple of Dutch baby carrots. You know, yep. this is already pre pre-blanched. Yep. Baby carrots, uh, maybe three of that. And a couple of uh, baby radish in okay. here. Okay. Uh, this size, I need to cut it up. It's a bit too big. Okay. So what we need to do, we just cut it into half. While you look at the smoke is coming in. Yeah, we got some. Uh, we can put it in to toss it. Okay. You can hear the sizzle yep. from there. Now because they're already cooked, obviously is, we don't need to worry don't need too to much. Wait that long. So, so what always we got to remember is to put the seasoning, seasoning. a bit of a salt and pepper. So okay. I'll start with a bit of a pepper, and then some and salt. And I put a bit of a salt in there. 
And uh, please make sure that you continue to stir that. Okay. While you're waiting for stirring, I will get this gratinated. Okay, great. Okay. Oh. So this is the beef which has been gratinated. Look at the herbs and spice and a bit of butter in there. Wow! So again here, we don't need that much. That's just already pre-made a bit of a red wine sauce okay. in there. So we just need a little bit of the red wine sauce, depending on how many people you're serving for. Yeah. So the beef here is already been rest. Yes. So what we need to do is we take it up here. <laughs> now we have the vegetable here, which you have cooked that. I have cooked it. Okay, so you have a bit of a Dutch carrot here. Okay. So now what we need to do is a bit of a presentation here. Beautiful. You know, I really love the colours that, it's interesting, with the season, the colours of the vegetables that are available are actually really very complementary. You know, the winter vegetables have got more of that sort of earthy colour. The oranges, the dark reds, the deeper greens it is, in yeah. it. You know, and the browns and those sort of rustic yes. colours. Finally, what we Wait, do is yep, we have yep. the red wine sauce, not too much. Yep. Okay, so that's slightly more like that. Ooh, I can't wait to get stuck into this. This is the sort of dish that I love and I bet you're going to love it too. Let's review the steps to get to this point. So first of all, we take our beef. We marinate it with a little bit of salt and pepper. We then seal it on all sides, then whack it into the oven. After we've done that, we can then take our boiled potatoes, we grate them, add a bit of parsley to it and then chop up our braised oxtail. We then put that into the mixture, mixing it up and then make balls of it into hash browns and deep fry it. Then we get our vegetables, we stir fry them with a little bit of flavour and finish off our beef with some mustard and herb butter. And then get all the elements and plate them together. I can't wait to get stuck into this one. Hello, my name is Christophe Lajus. I'm the general manager of Intercontinental Shanghai Expo and I warmly welcome you to our beautiful hotel. This week we have a lovely program with winter food and I hope you will enjoy the lovely dishes that we have prepared for you with Heidi and our chef. A fresh ingredient for all the family and a very healthy food. So please enjoy and welcome to Intercontinental Shanghai Expo anytime during this winter. Thank you. You want to create a fabulous large roast meal for your friends and family, but you're wondering what sort of side dishes you could make. Well, mashed potato is definitely a classic, but you can also do roast asparagus or creamed spinach, even some pickled onions. And that's my tip of the day. I'm getting, stay away from oh, this. Yeah, this I is need all to mine. pick it up a piece, you see, nice, oh. perfectly like cooked. Whoa! Oh my god. Hash browns are normally a very simple thing, but adding that braised oxtail in it gives it a, a feeling that you've created this dish that's taken hours and hours, but really it only took a few minutes. That is an absolutely superb dish, perfect for the really cold months of winter. If you would like to ask a question about this dish, you can go to Weibo and at ICS Young Tufang, Wan Zhuan Tufang. That's it for us today. I'm so excited by all this food. I'm going to continue eating all of this. Yes, enjoy. <laughs> We've got so many more dishes coming up this week, so make sure that you do stay tuned. They're all for this perfectly freezing cold weather.